morning everyone. Welcome to another episode of Unplugged TV. Freezing cold Australia. We had five degrees tonight. Freezing cold, 10 past eight. I'm preparing the car now to get some hay. I've programmed the new curve into the PHEV box last night. And um, we are trying this more aggressive curve now with the trailer and see if this makes a difference at all. Okay, let's go. So let's go. This is, this is the modified curve now. So we will have more torque at the beginning. Oh yes. Oh, that is nice. That is probably 20% now and we're using 30 kilowatt already. I can't feel the trailer at all. Ah, oh, beautiful. Look at the power meter. It goes all the way up and I'm probably 40, 50% on the on the gas, not even that, 40%. That is amazing. That feels awesome. I can't feel the trailer. Oh, look at this acceleration. That is amazing. Okay, if if you if you don't if you don't believe at the PHEV box in terms of saving energy, making your car more efficient, that's totally fine. This is not a problem at all. But what I've done now with the trailer tow mode, wow, that is beautiful. Watch my video, watch the last video. At the end I explained what I have done or I showed you even what I have done with the curve. So basically I modified the factory curve to now sit above the blue line, which is the factory curve. So right at the beginning, when you press down the accelerator, it gives you far more power and torque. That is amazing. That is so responsive now, because usually the car feels very, very numb and laggy with a trailer behind it. Okay. In tow mode. PHEV tow mode explained. Oh, that was too far. The ice has kicked in just for a second. I'm not sure with these figures. I'm still experimenting and cannot I cannot figure out the figures. I don't know what they mean, what the percentage is. I've pushed them really up, really low, just a little bit up, a little bit low, and still the engine kicks in. As soon as I modify these figures, the engine kicks in. I can't find a spot where it's okay. I need to get back to VTEC and ask what this actually means. Is it percentage of the throttle, percentage of the power of the car? I have no idea. It's nowhere documented and the manual and the videos are inconsistent. And I can't figure it out myself. I 
I tried so many possibilities now and different numbers in there and still the ice kicks in which it shouldn't because when I set the kick hard and kick full to 100% or to over 100% there should be nothing happening drives like a Porsche now with a trailer that is amazing they can't do a full kick down the engine will kick in straight away I don't know why I don't know why this is happening Okay, th this is not a loss. I haven't... The dog wasn't running when I drove back from the property to the road here, so that's fine. Okay, battery has warmed up just a little bit, but we haven't driven that far. It's only six kilometers um, until here. And outside temperature is 13 degrees. And now acceleration. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. That comes along quite nicely. Yeah. Still the ice kicks in and I don't know why. I need to check the curve again and the parameters for program number five. Let's see there's no problem to accelerate to 100 kilometers per hour with a trailer with 10 bales of hay on it. No problem at all. Beautiful. But I have to be careful. I have to watch the power meter all the time so the ice does not kick in. If I press too hard, the ice comes along. It's a shame. I don't know why. And this 80% acceleration. Uphill with the trailer. tight fit every time see this is the uh, these are the parameters I put in for program number five and the kick start and the kick hard is 100% so the engine should not kick in at about 60 or 70 percent already which it does sometimes and the engine starts at 44 whatever 44 is so there's no there's no indication why the engine is kicking in at all. I have no freaking idea. It doesn't make sense to me. And this is the curve I put in for the trailer. Hmm. Something is still not working correctly. Okay, so 
kickstart level of throttle when box should switch to full gasoline mode for instance at highway overtaking etc going over this level is equivalent to switching off uncheck ev tuning check field why is the engine still kicking in when i set these levels to 100 percent and as i said when i when i set this one to 105 percent throttle is this really 43 percent throttle so this would mean half this would mean half the pedal way only of the accelerator okay let's try that i'm i'm reading this manual i'm reading this chapter here again and again and again it does not make sense to me at all it says as factory settings for green area covers first 40 percent of gas pedal with box it is zoomed to 70 percent I, I don't know what this sentence means. If they are talking about factory setting, that's the blue one, and then they are talking about the green area and covers the first 40%. This is up here. With box, it's zoomed to 70%. 70% is where the curve goes up. I, I don't... I don't know. We need a better manual, definitely. This does not make sense to me. And then it says you may need a while to train and understand the behavior of your car with a box, but you will quickly find out how to use and smooth power control will give you savings on fuel increase. I, I, don't, I don't get it. I'm driving this box for four weeks now and I still can't figure out how this programming works correctly. All this explanation down here under the graph does not make sense to me at all. This is totally messed up. See, how is this zoom to 70%? I, what does it mean? I thought this is my pedal, my pedal position here. So 100% is kicked down, 90% might be full power, and everything else is what it says. I don't get it. So what, what they're basically saying is at 40%, you would usually have 40% output but now it is 70% when you have the 40%. Now that's probably what they mean with the box is zoomed to 70%. So to get 40% output, you need to push 70% instead of 40%. That's probably what it means. <sighs> so to translate this to my curve here, at 50% throttle, I'm getting 20 kilowatts with my curve, while I usually get 20, 20 kilowatts at 20% already. So if I if I don't want the engine to kick in at all, I want I want the EV button as a I want the eco button as a pure EV button. If I set the engine starts at 105, the kick start is 105, the kick hard is 105 as well for program number six and apply these parameters close the box and so in theory the car should follow this curve now which is insanely slow i know at about 55 percent i'm getting 20 kilowatt so 55 percent and at the beginning it's it should be very very smooth so i should have a lot of pedal way and then 70 75 percent the curve goes up and 85 percent it goes up very steep but as per parameters and program number six the engine should not kick in now um okay let's give this a try So this is a really r safety risk now, if you program the box like this, you can potentially make the car, you can potentially make the car drive away itself. You have to press the, um, the brakes very, very hard to keep the car um, under control. So this is a safety problem with the box and the parameters I've put in. The dog still shows the engine symbol.
you could see the marks of the tires here when I slammed on the brake otherwise the car would have smashed outside I put it in reverse okay we've got a safety problem here this is bad this is really bad I can't even drive the car like this it's not possible the manual does not tell you okay back to the drawing board program number six what I just had in this is the curve I've programmed but the car went crazy like this all the way up full power backwards the engine kicked in straight away even I had for program number six the engine starts at 105 engine starts engine starts level of throttle when ice starts 105 percent and the engine kicked in straight away and the torque was very very strong I had trouble to keep the car under control I needed to push the on off button again straight away to turn off the car there was an emergency not good so guys if you play around with these parameters be very very careful make sure the car is in a position where you can where you have several meters at the front and back to keep the car under control just in case something happens again the manual is very very inconsistent it doesn't tell you what is happening with the car it doesn't tell you when the engine kicks in the engine should not kick in at all as per manual as per their videos but it does and drives the car very very fast okay I'm very concerned now about this problem this should not happen the box should not allow parameter sets like this it should not allow the engine to kick in okay I'm I'm a little bit concerned now with this box and actually allowing these parameters to be set and make the car behave like this this should be locked down by the program by the software and should not make the car I mean this is insane okay we try again I've got the parking brake really all the way up I'm stepping on the brake pedal turning on the car eco mode and reverse you can you hear that I'm not touching I'm not touching the gas the engine kicks in and the, the car has so much power already look at this I'm just stepping off the brake I need to brake very very hard to keep the car under control here neutral the engine revs up full power mode turning it off so this is potentially totally totally dangerous what you can do with the box the car will go like hell and you have no control to hold it anymore very concerned about the safety this should be locked down in the software there should be warnings in the manual I must say don't use the box until this is fixed and this is on have a look program number six okay we have a look at program number six again turning it down to program number two turn the car back on okay eco mode yeah that behaves normal again so number two behaves normal okay Whew, that is that is super scary that is unbelievable okay um, let's have a look at the curve again program number six this is the curve I programmed and the curve goes more like 
this. That's, that's how the curve feels in program number six. You turn the end, you turn the car on, the engine kicks in straight away, the car drives full power backwards and it's very hard to control the car. Safety problem here. This should not be allowed to do. There should be a there should be a boundary, a block or something in there per software that you can't do that. If you go over certain parameters, if you program the car over certain parameters, it should fall back into a default safe setting. Guys, be very very careful when you play around with this curve. I don't even think it's the curve. I think it's more these parameters here, which are not clearly defined in here. Because at the moment it says level of throttle when ice starts, which is at 105% in program number 6. So at 105% of my throttle the ice will kick in. But it does the opposite. It, it, already, it already kicks in when I don't do anything. The default 1 or 2% the throttle has by default is now the 100%. The car, the car goes like hell. Okay, I, I will discuss this with the manufacturer, of course. Okay, I'm very concerned now about this problem. Okay, until this is resolved, I will not use the PHEV box anymore at the moment. Um, I need to get back to the manufacturer and see what the problem actually is. I shall keep you updated. Okay guys, that's so far the show from today. Thanks for watching and thanks for staying with me. That was a very short test drive at the end. <laughs> thanks for your support guys. This is Andy from Unplugged TV Australia signing off. Okay, see you on the next video. Bye.